What's up guys, Red Grizzly here. Today I'm going to show you this cool app called Chrome Remote Desktop. Basically the main reason why I got it was to use for TeamSpeak servers and just different servers on different games that you might have. And one thing that I would tell you about this is that I needed a remote desktop and I was thinking, oh well you know I could just get the Microsoft remote desktop. Well, ended up I don't have Windows Pro so I was like, well, crap, that sucks, but, so I ended up going with the Chrome one, and, um, main reason why is because, well, it's free, I didn't have to buy anything else, so, you just click on there, and you just, you know, download it, and install it, and then once you have it installed, you just open it up, and obviously you will need a Google account to get onto it, but then once you do, you just start it on up, now, this is my computer, obviously Steven is my name, and uh, you, okay, obviously you connect. All right, whenever you connect to the computer, it will show up like so. Boom. All right, now obviously, same thing. All my, all my desktop icons and everything. Uh, let's see here, and then you have like, you know, your taskbar. And you can also change from touch to a mouse, where you can actually see a mouse on there. And then if you ever get into a situation where you might need to type something, then you just go to your Chrome, or you can go to your Chrome, however you want to do this. And then, come on now, get back in focus here. Back in focus. Back in focus. Found the mouse. All right, there we go. Now then, we go there, and then you'll come down and you'll hit the keyboard and voila the keyboard pops up you can type whatever you want blah 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 www.whocares.com anyways all right so then there's that i i went to youtube there we go cool so yeah you know it plays everything that your normal desktop would play and as well as whenever you're doing it you can also see it on your desktop which is pretty cool and handy as well um, but anyways, yeah, guys, this is, uh, this is Remote Desktop from Google, and, uh, let's see here. Now, to set one up, basically what you want to do is to use the, uh, to set up your Chrome Remote Desktop, you're going to go to Chrome, colon, slash, slash, apps in your Chrome browser on your PC, and you're going to click on Chrome Remote Desktop, and then it will give you, like, a whole thing of, a uh, under my computers, it'll say get started. Uh, then you'll just, uh, you know, you'll click on enable remote connections and then they'll ask you to for a pin and you'll retype the pin. Say yes and it will install the host service in order for you to actually use it. So that's all you have to do to set it up for it to run onto your computer. But yes, anyways, this is a, uh, the, this remote desktop is a good thing to have for if you are trying to run servers and you happen to leave town and you need to you know go do some errands or something like that and you can access your desktop in case the server goes down and then obviously you can access it then you just like now let's say let's say you want to play a game let's go to battle.net let's say you want to play a game let's go to play now you just go over here and overwatch starts all right cool crazy right well only downside is obviously you can't play it on your phone but you can also hook up a controller to it but whenever you do go into a game you know you might you know you're not gonna be able to play this is not meant to play games by any means at all but it is pretty cool that the fact that you can play a game you know, at least see it while you're playing it. They had really bad laggy, really bad frames. I mean, it's just, it's not going to work. There's no way you can play it. But at least you know, I mean, the, the technology is coming along. So that's pretty cool. Pretty neat. And, um, I mean, you know, it does perform a little bit better on a tablet as well. I have a tablet and I've got the remote desktop on there as well. And I used it on there and it's pretty cool. But, like I said, it's not... You can also look around. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, it is not meant for gaming. By any means at all. By any stretch of the imagination. You can't do anything, really. But, it is pretty, uh... Pretty cool, though. That they can, you know, access the game. 
But anyways, other than that, that's pretty much all I was going to show y'all. And uh, if you like the channel, please subscribe. If you don't, well then sorry. Uh, this video might not be for you. Like I said, this is just strictly for just checking out this uh, app for this phone. To be able to use your desktop on your phone. So, anyways guys, if you enjoyed it, please press uh, press the like button. And if you if you will, then subscribe to the channel as well. And you'll be able to see future videos as well. Really cool, stupid stuff like this. So, anyways guys, appreciate y'all watching.